Hello dog lovers all over the Philippines and of course the world. Today will be our 10th vlog and we will be featuring the 213 FCI Old Breed Dog Show. This show was held last July 23 to the 24th of this year at the PCCI Activity Center located at the Sumulong Highway in Marikina City. We will be showing you the winners of each group, the best in show winners as well as some words from our exhibitors. Our judging schedule was as follows. For day one, in the morning we had the following groups, namely Terriers, Pointing Dogs, Retrievers, Flashing Dogs, Water Dogs, and Scent Hounds and Related Breeds. In the afternoon, we had the Companion and Toy Dogs. For the second day, we had the Speeds and Primitive Types, followed by Sheep Dogs and Cat Dogs. In the afternoon, we had the Dachshunds, and Finchers and Snosser also in breeds. A total of 380 dogs were judged for the show. Our judge for this show was Miss Narel Gail Hammond from Australia. She is qualified both by ANKC and the FCI to judge all breeds. She has judged in all states of Australia, New Zealand, the United States of America, Canada, as well as in most countries in Asia. She has been involved at all levels of club administration as President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, Show Secretary, Show Manager, Trophy Steward, and has held general committee positions on a number of all breeds and specialty clubs in Australia. Under the Combinalong prefix, she has bred and exhibited many Australian cat and dog champions to date, and for which she has been acknowledged as a breed authority all over the world. An accomplished author, Narel has written for TFH Publications, The Australian Cattle Dog, which has sold to date worldwide some 50,000 copies. In 1996, she wrote and published The Australasian Doberman, a 416-page history of the Doberman in Australia and New Zealand, and The New Owner's Guide to the Australian Cattle Dog Book, which was released in July 1999. Let us now watch the winners in the different groups. For Group 3, Terriers, the best in group, also the best Philippine born and best junior in group is the Jack Russell Terrier. The second best in group is the Yorkshire Terrier. The third best in group, the Welsh Terrier. Fourth best in group, the Norwich Terrier. Best Baby Puppy, Norwich Terrier. For Group 7, Pointing Dogs, there was only one entry, so it automatically goes to the Brittany Spaniel. For Group 8, Retrievers, Flashing Dogs, and Water Dogs. The best in group, also the best Philippine boy in group, is the Golden Retriever. The second best in group is the American Kaffir Spaniel. Third best in group, also the winner of the best junior in group, is the Labrador Retriever. The fourth best in group is the Clumber Spaniel. The best baby puppy award goes to the Gold Retriever. Let's now listen to some words from a dog enthusiast, Mr. Rico Villaroman. So I'm, I'm Nico Villaroman. I'm a dog um, enthusiast, dog breeder, and um, I, I show dogs. I've been a member of PCCI since 1991. And um, I'm into four breeds, Clumber Spaniels, Sky Terriers, English Toy Spaniels, and Chinese Crescents. And they're all rare breeds. Uh, dog shows are fun. It's one of those few shows where um, the, the the bida, so they say, is a, are, are dogs, and and we love exhibiting our dogs. I, I'm not based here; I'm based overseas. Uh, but even when I'm there, um, in, in another country, I, I still show dogs. So now I'm taking my time to really enjoy the fa the, the the atmosphere here in PCCI. Well, we don't read much, but as an exhibitor. 
the acknowledgement we get from judges for the dogs that we exhibit. Um, knowing that our dogs are not very common, they're quite rare. Uh, even in other countries and they're quite vulnerable and we want to contribute to um, the promotion of these breeds uh, before they can even disappear uh, and so uh, we, we, we want to showcase them and the, the fact that they're acknowledged means a lot to us. Um, for, for beginners, what I can advise you is to first search the breed that you're passionate about Try to study them, try to study the breed standard, seek mentorship, that's very important. You cannot just be there all by yourself, there has to be somebody teaching you. And, um, and uh, try to, uh, to focus more on uh, if the breed will fit you, fit, fit your lifestyle, and then uh, just go for it. Uh, don't be afraid of other, you know, if you can show the dogs yourself and not, I, I'm, a, I'm a pro. Um, owner handler so if you can try to be there in the ring with your dogs and I'm sure you'll love it. For group number six, scent hounds and related breeds, the best in group goes to the Basset Hound. The second best in group, also the best Philippine born in group, is the Beagle, while the best junior is the Basset Hound. For group 9, companion and toy dogs. The best in group, also the winner of the Philippine born in group, the branch bulldog. The second best in group, Pekinese. Third best in group, the pug. Fourth best in group, Bichon Frise. Best Junior is the French Bulldog and Best Baby Puppy is the Chihuahua Longhorn. For Group 5, Speeds and Primitive Types The best in group, which is also the winner of the Philippine Born in Group, is the Chow Chow. Group 2 goes to the American Nakita. Group 3 goes to the Siberian Husky. Group 4 goes to the Pomeranian. Best Junior in group goes to the Siberian Husky. While the Best Baby Puppy goes to the Pomeranian. Let's hear some words from a Chow Chow Breed Specialist, Mr. Efren C. Uh, I'm Efren C. Uh, I show dogs for more than 10 years. Uh, my breed is the Chow Chow and the Brittany. Uh, my Chows uh, are from Thailand. Uh, my breeder is Mr. Ekarat Sapunaku. Well, uh, as a breeder, uh, what I can say is uh, you should look for a Chow that uh, conforms to the breed standard, free from any genetic fault or defects, so that in the future, if you want to breed your dog, you will be able to produce uh, a good litter and choose from the litter a good ch uh, chow to, to show. Now, uh, in picking a litter, again, you should conform uh, with the breed standards, free from faults or any defect, and uh, train the dog as early as you can, socialize them because the, uh, aside from, there's a wrong perception that a chow chow is aggressive. No, any dog can be aggressive uh, if you don't train them, socialize them at an early age. If you socialize them at an early age, a chow chow is very lovable and their temperament will not be an issue. Now, uh, as an exhibitor, if you if you have a puppy that conforms to the breed standard, it's easy to show the dog. Now, uh, again, the joining dog shows is uh, one, great, uh, one great way to start the dog. Uh, and secondly, uh, just remember that in any competition, you should be a sport in joining them. And also, be 
uh, courteous to your fellow exhibitors. Win or lose, no matter what happens, you just have fun. Yes, uh, my happiest moment or my proudest moment as a Chow Chow owner. Uh, as a breeder, we've already bred some dogs that have competed uh, and have been successful here in the Philippines and also interna uh, uh, on international shows. Uh, we have already uh, shown and finished uh, multiple dogs in Thailand, US, and Canada. My proudest moment would be uh, my, my breeding uh, went to, to Canada, finished uh, top five, top three, I think, uh, in Canada for the Chows, and in just two months of showing. And aside from that, we've also shown in uh, the U.S. in our uh, Royal Canadian Invitational Cup. We, uh, we won there also, and uh, my dog has already also uh, accomplished a lot of things here in the Philippines. Finished number one, Chow Chow, and number one, all breed Philippine born. So I think that's the proudest moment as a breeder and as an exhibitor of the Chow Chow. Uh, my best advice to novice uh, Chow Chow owners, number one, research. Study everything you want to know about the breed is already uh, easy to to get. There is is on the internet. There's a lot of breeding materials, and also uh, aside from that, look for someone who's reputable. Don't believe anything you hear from anyone that says they are an expert of the breed. Uh, there's a lot of people claiming they're experts, but they're not. Uh, don't waste your time money because remember if you invest on any dog the dog lives for about 12 to 15 years if you love your dog you should invest in a good dog a healthy dog that will make you happy and then uh, aside from that not if you're not really into showing you don't need to show your dog but if you want to show your dog remember you study research you can read the breed standard it's easy to follow the breed standard all the details are there. Now, uh, if you want to ask somebody who's uh, uh, like me, who's been uh, with, the with the Chows for, uh, for so long, uh, you can approach us or approach me. You can ask me whatever, what, what, uh, what info you want to know. You know, uh, we can help you. And then the best thing you need to remember, do not be persuaded by people saying, we sell show dogs. We are quality this and that. No. Do your research and you won't be scammed by these people. For group one, sheep dogs and cattle dogs. The best in group and also the winner of the Philippine born in group is the Australian cattle dog. The second best in group is the Pembroke Welsh for me. Third best in group, Australian Shepherd Dog. Fourth best in group, German Shepherd Dog. Best Junior, Pembroke Welsh Corgi. And the best baby puppy is another Pembroke Welsh Corgi. For group 4, Dachshunds. The best in group and also the winner of the Philippine Born in Group is the standard wire-haired Dachshund. Second best in group is the standard smooth dachshund. Third best in group, miniature smooth dachshund. Fourth best in group, also the winner of the junior in group, the miniature long-haired dachshund. Best veteran in group, the miniature smooth dachshund. For group 2, pinchers and snossers, molosoid breeds. Best in group, Doberman. Second best in group, also the winner of the Philippine Born in Group is the Miniature Pincher. Third best in group, the Boxer. Fourth best in group, Bull Mastiff. Best junior in group, Caucasian Shepherd Dog. 
Best Baby Puppy, Cani Corso. Moving on, let's now watch the most awaited competition, Best in Show. Best Baby Puppy in Show competition. The Best Baby Puppy in Show goes to the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Second Best Baby Puppy in Show, the Long Ho Chihuahua. Third Best Baby Puppy in Show, Norwich Terrier. For Best Puppy in Show competition, The best puppy in show winner is the Chow Chow. Second best puppy in show, the Shih Tzu. Third best puppy in show, Miniature Pincher. Best junior in show, The winner is the Jack Russell Terrier. Second best junior in show, Labrador Retriever. Third best junior in show, Occasion Shepherd Dog. Best in show competition. Finally, the best in show, the Britain Spaniel. Second best in show, Doberman. And third best in show, also the winner of the best Philippine born, the Australian Cattle Dog. For the second best Philippine born in show, we have the French Bulldog. The third best Philippine born in show, the standard wire haired dachshund. And the winner of the best veteran in show is the miniature smooth dachshund. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our vlog, please like and subscribe. Also, please click the notification bell so you get to be informed that we have uploaded new content. Salamat po ng madami! Don't forget to like, subscribe, PCCI YouTube channel.